Ram Krishna Hari to all students. Today in this video we are going to see exercise which is depending on the topic number two shapes and pattern subject mathematics grade one. Now we will see what are the questions or the concepts given in the exercise. Directly we will start to solve that. Uh, see question A you have given here. Write SL for only straight lines. CL for only curved lines and both SL and CL for a combination of straight lines and curved lines. One has been done for you. As you can see here number of figures you have given here. And in this what you have to do? We ha you have to uh, write here SL for straight lines. That means here the figures hai. Kaun se lines se bani hai? Straight lines se, curved lines se bani hai. Or both straight line and curved lines se. You have to identify that and write in these boxes. Okay. Uh, SL that means S for straight, L for line. CL means C for curved, L for lines. And if the figures are made up of both straight lines SL and curved lines CL we have to write there SL and CL which is will be the combination of straight lines and the curved lines okay now see here first one you have given solve see here circle is there then two dots and smile in this figure if you observe there is no any straight line all lines are the curved lines therefore this figure is made up of only curved lines. Therefore, we will write C and L. C for curved and L for line. Okay. Now, I will show one example you. This scale is here which is made up of only straight lines. That means, you have a straight line, hai, straight line, hai, straight line, hai, straight line. Hai. That means this object is made up of straight lines. Okay. Now one more toy is at me. You can observe this one. Actually this is made up of which lines? Curved lines. That means there is no any straight lines. This is the difference between the curved line objects and the straight line objects. Same, similarly depending on that we will solve next example. Now see in this figure. Everywhere there is straight line. There is no any curved lines. Curved lines means bend ho gai ho gai. Aisi line curve hai kya hai pe? No. And straight line means straight. So, okay. Therefore this figure is made up of only straight lines. Therefore we will write S L. S for straight, L for line. Now see here. In this figure here is straight line. Yaha pe straight line hai. Yaha pe straight line hai. But at the base there is curved line. Simple curve is there. Therefore this figure is combination of straight line and curved line. Okay. Therefore what we will write? S L for straight line. And C L for curved line. S L and C L. Now next figure you will see here. Yaha pe straight line hai. Yaha pe straight line hai. But at the end there is one curved line and also here is one curved line. Therefore this figure is combination of straight lines and curved lines. Therefore what we will write here S L and C L. Okay. Next yaha pe dekho in this figure. There are straight lines, straight lines, straight line. You have everywhere straight line. But at this point, there are curved lines. Is there a straight line? No. Some point of curved line is there. Therefore, this figure is made up of straight line and curved lines. Just you have to step by step observe. Now see in this figure. Straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line. Yaha pe arrow bhi bana hai, wo bhi straight line se hai. There is no any curved line in this figure. So we will write 
only as L. That means this figure is made up of only straight lines. Okay. Now see in this figure there is all curved line. Therefore this figure, this also circle is made up of curved lines. Therefore this figure is made up of only curved lines. So we will write curved line. Now see this star. In this star all are the straight lines. No any curved lines. Therefore what we will write here? S and N. That means this figure is made up of S for straight and for line. Or in your uh, daily life you can observe that your notebooks are made up of straight lines. Okay. Your tiffin is made up of maybe curved as you can see. Uh, of straight lines, square box bala hai, to straight lines se bana hua hai. Or circular hai, to curved lines se bana hua hai. In your kitchen also, you can observe, you can say to your mommy that this one is um, so curved lines se bana hua hai. Plates se, circular, okay. That means curved lines se bana hua hai. Hmm? As like that. See, now see question number B. Write down the letters of alphabets that have the following. Write down the letters of alphabet. Now letters of alphabets means A, B, C, D up to Z. Capital letters which are having only straight lines, only curved lines, straight and curved lines. That means you have to observe all letters of alphabets and you have to classify them into uh, the alphabets which are made up of only straight lines or curved lines or the straight and curved lines. You have to just classify that ones. Okay. Now I have written here alphabets as like this. Now we will uh, classify them. How to do this? First letter we will see here. Suppose A. In this A what are? A is made up of only straight line. Therefore we will write this A in only straight line column. Okay. Where we will write A. Next, C, B. B may a straight line hai, but yaha pe curved lines hai. That means straight B lines hai, curved B lines hai. Where is that column? Yaha pe only straight line hai, yaha pe curved line. And both straight and curved line is third column. So, B will be in the straight and curved lines. Okay. Now, C. In C, only curved lines are there. So, C will be in the only curved lines. Now, in the D, C, yaha pe curve hai aur yaha pe straight line hai. Therefore, both straight and the curved lines. Therefore, D will be in the third column. Now, C, E, E may straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line. Therefore, only straight lines. Therefore, E will be in the first column, which is only straight lines. Now, C, F. F may straight line, straight line, straight lines. Therefore, F will be also in first column. Only straight lines. Next, G. G may a curved line hai. Yaha pe standing line, straight line and straight line. That means both straight line and curved lines. So, G will be in the third column. Next, H. H may straight line, straight line, straight line. That means only straight lines. Next, I, straight line, straight line, straight line. Therefore, I will be in the only straight lines. Next, J, yaha pe curve line hai, aur yaha pe straight hai. Therefore, combination of curve line and the straight line, which is column third, J will be in the straight and curve line. K means, dekho. K straight line, ye bhi straight line or ye bhi straight line. Therefore, K will be in the only straight lines. Okay. Next, L straight line, straight line. Just we have to observe straight line. That means K, L will be in the only straight lines. So, right here L. Next, M. M is also straight line. M next see here N N is also made up of straight lines so write M ke baad only straight line me ko naiga and then C O O is made up of curved lines so it will be on in second column only curved lines next 
पी स्ट्रेट लाइन कर लाइन दैट मीन्स स्ट्रेट भी है कर लाइन भी है देर फोर पी विल बी इन द थर्ड कॉलम स्ट्रेट एंड कर लाइन नेक्स्ट सी क्यू क्यू में कर लाइन है और बीच में स्ट्रेट लाइन है देर फोर क्यू विल बी इन द स्ट्रेट एंड कर लाइन नेक्स्ट आर आर में देखो स्ट्रेट लाइन यहाँ पे कर्व है और यहाँ पे अगेन स्ट्रेट लाइन है दैट मीन्स कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ स्ट्रेट एंड कर्व लाइन सो आर विल बी इन द स्ट्रेट एंड कर्व लाइन्स नेक्स्ट एस सी इन एस ऑल आर द कर्व लाइन्स देर फोर एस विल बी इन द ओनली कर्व लाइन्स नेक्स्ट टी टी में स्ट्रेट लाइन है यहाँ पे भी स्ट्रेट लाइन है देर फोर टी विल बी इन द फर्स्ट कॉलम दैट मीन्स ओनली स्ट्रेट लाइन्स नेक्स्ट यू यू में अगर देखें तो कर लाइन ओनली देर फोर यू विल बी इन द ओनली कर लाइन्स नेक्स्ट वी स्ट्रेट लाइन स्ट्रेट लाइन देर फोर वी विल बी इन द ओनली स्ट्रेट लाइन्स अगेन देन डब्ल्यू डब्ल्यू इन डब्ल्यू ऑल आर द स्ट्रेट लाइन्स देर फोर वी W will be in only straight line. X straight line, straight line. Therefore, X will be in straight lines. Next, Y, Y straight line, straight line, straight lines. Therefore, Y is in come in only straight lines. And Z straight line. ये भी straight line है, ये भी straight line है. Therefore, Z will be in only straight line that means we have classified our alphabets in straight line means curve line and straight and curve lines yahan pe sleeping line standing line slanting line will be there but what are they straight hai therefore we are considering that in only straight lines okay no matter they are sleeping standing or slanting lines okay just we have to consider straight and curved lines okay this is all about the uh, letters of alphabets that are straight lines made curve line means or the both the combination okay now see question number c very easy hai. just try to read question and understand that look at the figure that means here jo figure di hai diagram you have to look and write how many of each shapes are there in this shapes different shapes are used and you have to count that how many shapes are there नाउ सी हियर यहाँ पे ये कौन सा शेप है स्क्वायर यहाँ पे सर्कल देन ट्राइंगल एंड देन रेक्टेंगल वन पॉइंट आई हैव टू से यू दैट इन स्क्वेयर देर आर फोर साइड सी हियर वन टू थ्री एंड फोर एंड इन स्क्वेयर दिस ऑल फोर साइड्स आर सेम दैट मीन सपोज दिस वन इज वन सेंटीमीटर then this will also वन सेंटीमीटर this will also वन सेंटीमीटर and this will also वन सेंटीमीटर that means in square all four sides are equal and in rectangle rectangle also having four sides वन टू थ्री and फोर but in this case the opposite sides are equal that means suppose this one is टू सेंटीमीटर this will also टू सेंटीमीटर and if this is वन सेंटीमीटर then this will be वन सेंटीमीटर that means यहाँ पे वो अपोजिट साइड्स इक्वल होते हैं फोर साइड्स नॉट इक्वल बट अपोजिट साइड्स आर इक्वल इन यूर क्लास रूम इफ यू सी यूर ब्लैक बोर्ड और ऑल्सो यूर टेक्स बुक सेम टेक्स बुक यू कैन ऑब्जर्व हियर दैट this one is rectangle shape in which opposite sides are equal if you count their length that means uh, main difference between square square and rectangle is that in square all sides are equal and in rectangle opposite sides are equal now we will come to our question uh, see here how many squares are here yahan pe if you observe one and two therefore we will write how many squares are there two now circle only one circle if you observe here only one circle is here therefore we will write one circle then triangle only one triangle is here so we will write one triangle and now see observe rectangle here is some confusion you will get so you have to observe it properly now see here yaha pe rectangle hai this one is first next this one is first 
and next this big wala bhi rectangle hi hai as it is all you have to observe figure complete so how many rectangles here one this one two and this one three therefore how many rectangles are here three rectangles are here okay now next question we will see the question is there complete the color patterns that means the color patterns here you have to complete that if you observe here first one is shapes are oval uh, vertical oval horizontal then vertical horizontal vertical horizontal this is the shapes pattern then what you have to do color patterns aapko complete karna hai orange green orange green then kaun sa hoga orange and thereafter green वर्टिकल में ऑरेंज हॉरिजेंटल में ग्रीन सो यू हैव टू कंप्लीट दिस वन बाय कलरिंग एज लाइक दिस कलर दिस वन एज लाइक दिस ऑरेंज एंड नेक्स्ट वन विल बी व्हिच कलर विल बी देयर ग्रीन लाइट ग्रीन सो डू इट बाय कलरिंग इट प्रॉपर्ली यू हैव टू डू इन योर टेक्स्ट बुक वेरी इजी जस्ट ऑब्जर्वेशन शुड बी proper therefore i have completed first pattern as here next second mein dekho red green red green alternate hai a b a b a b that means a means hamara red b means green then you will color here as a red color and yahan pe green color solve yourself take your colors and do that next third one blue yellow blue Hello. That means A B A B again A B A means which color will be there? Blue color. Give here blue color. Same pattern follow करने के लिए complete करने के लिए blue and then which color you have to give? Yellow color. So give yellow color. That means this pattern will complete here. Okay. Next question. फोर नंबर पैटर्न सी है येलो ब्लू येलो पर्पल येलो ब्लू येलो पर्पल आएगा यहाँ पे देखो फर्स्ट वन येलो सेकेंड नेक्स्ट पर्पल येलो ब्लू येलो पर्पल देन येलो ब्लू यू हैव टू कंप्लीट दिस पैटर्न ओके फर्स्ट वन इज येलो ब्लू का कॉम्बिनेशन देन येलो पर्पल का है देन येलो ब्लू का कॉम्बिनेशन देन येलो पर्पल का कॉम्बिनेशन दैट मीन्स टू टू का ग्रुप देखो सेम देन यहाँ पे येलो पर्पल आएगा अगेन दे यहाँ पे येलो एंड ब्लू कॉम्बिनेशन होगा नाउ फिफ्थ वन ऑरेंज वन टू थ्री ट्राइंगल्स देन वन टू थ्री ब्लू देन वन टू थ्री ऑरेंज देन ट्रिपल ए ट्रिपल बी ट्रिपल ए ट्रिपल बी ओके then in this three there will be blue color this is all about the shapes and the patterns i hope you understood this just in your day to day life you have to identify the um, or apply this learning day to day life in your life okay that means uh, object suppose uh, your bag is there school bag is there this is made up of curved lines huh? then your tiffin Uh, your notebook textbook these are made up of straight lines okay or uh, whatever objects in your classroom blackboard is there hmm? which is made up of straight lines okay chair chair is made up of curved lines that means this all study which which you do in your classroom or your at your home or in your textbook notebook you have to try to apply this and use this knowledge in your daily life that will be very interesting and very easy as our m for maths hota hai and m for magic bhi hota hai that's why okay i hope you understood this video thanks for watching this video